Hi, and welcome to this setup tutorial for the Odessia wireless system. The first step is to log on to the web user interface with your personal password. To create your own password, please enter it twice and press Submit, which will take you to the RMCR Device Manager login. Fill in your password and press Login to enter the system that is now in reset mode. Here, the dialog window Register Your Peripheral Devices will appear. In the bottom right corner, please press the Enable All and Search button and the setup wizard scans the network for all connected devices. This can take a couple of seconds. Here we can see the VXL speakers and the wireless RMWAP and how they are checked as connected under status. Then please press Next. First, we come to the 2.1 Checking Wireless Environment window. This is a part of the device manager that belongs to RMWAP standalone window. You can open this window later under Peripheral Devices. For this setup session, please press Next. When landing on 2.2, pair chargers with RMWAP, please select the RMWAP unit showing in the window and then proceed to press Pair to initiate the process. To complete this action, you also need to push the Pair button on the back of the physical charger. Allow for the system to scan for the RMWCH or the charger and it will appear under Paired in the dialog window. When done, the blue light under the charger will also turn green. Please press Next. In the next step, 2.3, we will pair the microphones with the charger. To start this process, please press the Activate button on the top of the RMWCH charger for one second till it starts flashing blue. This will initiate the microphone pairing sequence that will take a short while. This sequence is sped up here. Notice that you can also pair with one microphone at the time. In the dialog window, you can see what type of microphone that are paired under Type. When the Activity button turns from a flashing blue to a steady green, the pairing procedure is finished. Please press Next. This will take you to Section 3 and the Check Firmware Version window. Here, the system checks to see that your devices are all updated to the latest firmware version. Please press Next. Here, we enter Section 4, Locate Peripheral Dante Speakers. Here, we address the speakers according to their placement, left or right. Press the light symbol of one of the speakers and the corresponding light will flash on the speaker, as seen here. Allocate the direction as you were sitting in front of the speaker. Please press Next. Now, we arrive at Section 5, where we execute the automatic audio tuning. Here, you go straight to the Execute button in the bottom right corner and press it. This process will take a couple of minutes, and it's vital that you keep as quiet as possible and don't obstruct the playback of the speakers while the tuning is ongoing. For this tutorial, we will now speed up this section. During the entire process, you can see a progress meter that shows how far the tuning has come. When it's done, the text Automatic Audio Tuning Succeeded will appear in the window, and you are now set to press the next button that will lead you to Section 6, that tells you good job for executing all the different steps correctly. Now, your Odessia wireless system is set up and ready to be used.